Hello and uh, welcome to another Kafka tutorial. In the previous video, I talked about real-time extract and load part of ETL via Kafka Connect. This time around, we will focus on the real-time transformations as well as notifications. Transformations are handled in a stream application. We can develop stream applications in different languages such as Java or .NET. However, Confluent Platform provides KSQL, a SQL language to develop stream applications. KSQL continuously transforms streams of data. It allows you to take existing Kafka topics and filter, process, and react to them to create new derived topics. Few examples of transformation we will look at are denormalization, derived columns, filters, and aggregate. Based on transform data, we will generate Slack and email notification via .NET application. We will use three tables from Northwind database on the right. If you need Northwind database for MySQL, then it's available on the GitHub along with .NET notification code. Link is in the description below. Make sure all Confluent services are up and running. I have included KSQL to the list of components from the prior video. If this sounds interesting, then let's dive into the demo. Let's begin with starting KSQL services. We will launch KSQL by providing server.script along with server properties file. Hit enter to launch it. Leave it running and switch terminal tab. Also launch KSQL CLI by providing the connection information to the KSQL server. This will launch KSQL streaming engine. In KSQL CLI, we can list topics by issuing list topics command. As you can see, we have four topics from Northwind database. During testing, I have discovered that Kafka doesn't handle decimal data type gracefully. So I have created a view to convert it to float and we are using the view as the source for this topic. Code for the view as well as the connector is available on GitHub link in the description. Let's peek into Kafka topic to see data. We are going to issue a print command along with the name of the topic. If there is data flowing to this topic, we will see it. Now there is no data flowing, so we will interrupt it by pressing Ctrl plus C. Let's set the auto offset to the earliest. This will allow us to read data from beginning in this topic. Let's try and print the topic again to see the data in this topic since its inception. Let's go ahead and create our first stream. I'll paste the code for the stream and we'll go over it. It's fairly simple. We have a create stream statement followed by the name of the stream. Then we specify the Kafka topic along with schema serialization format which is Avro, and hit enter to create it. We can look at the makeup of the stream by entering describe stream command, followed by the name of the stream. This will give us the column in this stream along with their data type. And now we can run select statement against this stream. Let me enter a select statement. It should produce same data as in the underlying Kafka topic. Let's create one more stream based on Northwind orders topic. We will enter create stream NW orders along with the Kafka topic and the value format is Avro again and hit enter to create it. Let's go ahead and persist Northwind orders topic data to a table. I am going to paste create table statement and hit enter. This will create a table. Now we can query it with a select statement. However, it doesn't show any data. Let's exit from the select 
and look into the makeup of the source topic by issuing a described statement. Oh, wrong topic. It should be NW orders. This issue took me a while and it turns out if the row key in the topic is blank, then we cannot use it as a source for our table. Let's peek into the data and see if the row key is null. Indeed, it is coming out as null. The workaround is to rekey the topic and then use it as a source. Let's see how we do it. First, we are going to create a stream and partition it by an ID. In this case, it's the order ID column. Check to make sure that the row key column is populated. And if we query it, it is indeed populated with order ID. Now we can create a KSQL table on top of order SRC rekey topic with the key as order ID. Let's query this table to check if this returns data. Now it's working as expected. One more caveat. When doing a stream table join, your table messages must already exist and must be timestamped before the stream messages. I had to recreate Northwind order details topic and re-emit source data after orders table topic is already populated. This will make sure the join will succeed. So we have a new stream NWOD. We will join this to orders table next. Now we can create a stream with stream table join. Here we will join orders data to orders detail. We want to enhance our fact data with some orders information where sales amount is greater than 10,000. Let's query it to see the records. Data from the table and stream is coming through. However, order date is coming in as big int. We will fix that next. We can leverage this technique to enhance our topics data or perform denormalization in an ETL process, persist our dimensions in KSQL tables, and merge them to reduce the numbers of dimension tables. This will reduce the numbers of joins. We are going to create a sales net stream. It's the same as the earlier stream table join. However, we are using a built-in function called timestamp to string to display date time in proper format. Also, we are extracting date and year from it. Along with order date fix, we are creating a derived column called discount flag based on a case statement. Let's create this stream and run a select to see data in this stream. Order date is displayed in proper format and we extracted date and year from it. Also, our discount flag column is working as expected. This is all for now. Thank you very much for joining me.